This is an overview to show you how to connect a Hunter rain sensor to your X2 controller. We are going to use the X2 sensor terminals for installation. For wireless sensors, we'll use the 24 volt terminals. Wired rain click and mini click rain sensors include 25 feet or 7 meters of wire and can be extended up to 200 feet or 61 meters using the same type and gauge of wire that is already attached to the sensor. Wireless rain click models have a range of up to 800 feet or 243 meters line of sight from the sensor to receiver. Multiple receivers can be operated from a single sensor. Let's begin by removing the X2 wiring compartment cover. Observe the two sensor terminals and the 24 volt AC terminals. Next, unplug the X2 to turn off power. Observe the LCD screen turning blank. Wired rain sensors come with white and blue wire colors or black and red wire colors. It does not matter which wire connects to which sensor terminal. Simply attach one wire lead to one sensor screw and the other wire lead to the other sensor screw. Wireless rain sensors come with two pieces. The first is the receiver, which wires directly to the X2. The second piece is the wireless sensor. Although Hunter wireless rain click models come from the factory ready for communication on the same frequency, it is always a best practice to initialize communication once you have installed both units. Wireless rain click comes with five receiver wires, two yellow wires that attach to the 24 volt AC terminals, one white and one blue wire, which attach to the sensor terminals and one orange wire, which is used for normally open controllers only, and connects to the sensor comm terminal. Leave the orange wire disconnected or cut it when using a wireless rain click with X2 because the controller uses a normally closed circuit. Now, we are ready to power up the controller. Ensure the sensor bypass switch is set in the on position to allow the controller to obey the sensor. For wired rain sensor installations, this is the last step. For wireless rain sensor installations, observe the receiver LED turn red when powered. This means it is in search mode. Go to the sensor and press and hold the spindle button until the LED light blinks. This sends a signal to the receiver that it acknowledges the sensor. The system is now ready to shut down irrigation when rainfall is present. What we have covered in this video is adding a rain sensor to your X2 controller. For detailed information regarding the sensor or the controller, be sure to consult the online support page or quick start guide. You can find them both at hunterindustries.com. Thanks for watching.